I can tell you what Brian will feel like tomorrow morning. Great relief. Really? <laughs> That's for sure, yeah. When you make a decision like that and then there are weeks in between making the decision public and then having to keep doing the show and then finally it is over. Were you surprised he decided to go now? Um, not really. It's a, a fairly arduous thing to do, you know, for years and years. He did it for 14 years and he would you have done it for fewer years if the pandemic... Did you do it for 10, Pat? I did it for 10. Uh, he would have done it for fewer years if the pandemic hadn't intervened. Uh, so he had to do a lot of stuff by Zoom and all of that. And that was uh, quite a challenge. Uh, so I think uh, relief will be his uh, primary emotion. I, I spoke to him a few minutes ago just to wish him... Did you? ...good luck tonight. And uh, he's in great form. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sure he's... What, his legacy as Late Late Show host, what do you think? Is I think it, primarily it, um, the, the toy show. Yeah, huge. You know, he did a very different style of toy show to the one that Gay had done or I had done. Uh, he became, you know, the star of the show. And he was like the ringmaster kind of metaphor, yeah. wasn't he? And So I think that's what the kids will remember. Yeah. I know that to this day I meet uh, adults in their no. 20s who... You know, know me show. from the toy show primarily, not from prime time or the front line or even regular <laughs> late, late shows. They remember me from the toy and show. And you're going, I'm a serious journalist and broadcaster, <laughs> I'll have you. I don't know. want to know about my Christmas jumper. And what about Patrick Keelty? Do you think, I mean, there's a lot of talk about his carbon footprint. There's a lot of talk about his commute. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> we were talking, uh, Ryan and I, but, you know, welcome to our world, Patrick. Now, I didn't have it so bad because if you think back 14 years ago, social media wasn't mm -hmm. what it is uh, no. today. It was no. in its infancy. So I didn't have all that stuff. Ryan has the had a bile. lot of that stuff to put up, uh, up with. And also the level of, uh, of scrutiny of every aspect of your life. I mean, I talked before that if a woman got it, they'd be talking about her clothes and what she wore last night and all the rest well, of it. Well, the late, late hashtag trends every Friday night. Out, yeah, with people so, generally given out, actually. Yeah. I mean, the, the guys' uh, clothes are not an issue. Stick on a tie or whatever and uh, off you go. But every aspect, everything you do, every slip-up you might make, and of course you make slip-ups, uh, become the, the stuff of the Twitterati. Um, and even, you know, the regular media start worrying about sustainability for Patrick Keelty flying in every week and uh, living with yeah. his family in London for most of the week. It's a tough gig. Yeah. 60 years on... Like, does the, does the show need to change? Does the format Oh, it need will to change? change. I mean, uh, the presenter always influences uh, what happens within the show. It has to play the to show. the presenter's strengths, yeah. doesn't it? So, uh, Patrick, I don't know what he wants to bring to the, the party, but it will be a show that will evolve around him. Lighter, I, do you think, a little bit? I don't know, because Patrick has his very serious side as well. But um, it'll Comedy start Comedy is his kind of original well, shtick, that's, though. That's how he was, yeah. uh, how he first came to prominence. But it'll evolve because the first week, second week, third week, they'll probably try to have the template much as before. But then as time goes on, you know, things get dropped, things get added in, uh, new features, new creativity. Um, so we shall see. They'll find their feet, no doubt. And I'm sure you'll be watching on with, with great interest.